bless you, family. King Jesus, bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Number one, thank you guys for the prayers. I put a, a posting on YouTube, uh, prayers please. And it's been a few days, oh, we're going on like three days since I've done a video, which I don't like. Uh, I've had an exceptionally challenging week. Um, I mean, you know how it is in, the, in these last days. In, in warfare, you know, you, there's different peaks and valleys. Like, I feel like this week has been, you know, apart from spiritual warfare, which is constant, um, I felt like it was increased and more pointed in, in different ways. Um, in my workplace, there's different challenges and different pulls on my energy and my vitality and my patience and a lot of stuff being taken from one's plate, put onto mine and say, hey, do it and barely any thanks. Just like a whole lot of things that have been frustrating. Communication challenges with um, with loved ones that have just been confusing, which just feels like meddling from the evil one. Anyways, uh, your prayers were helpful, of course. Um, my saving grace just, just helping me um, at a moment when I was depleted, when I was low, when I was frustrated, when I was feeling just kind of abandoned. Um, you know, anyways, that's kind of the gist of, of where I've been the last couple of days. Just just, just in, in the trenches, like all of us, just fighting, just trying, just um, warfare, right? Um, there's times when we're doing good, we're, we're, we're maintaining, we're, we're even getting great, strong victories. And other times, we're just getting pummeled, we're just getting hit. And I've been just getting hit for uh, several days. But whatever, who cares? I got the Holy Spirit. I'm going to glory. So are you. We have King Jesus. We have his word. We have his Holy Spirit. So it's just um, it's it's just um, like collateral damage of war, I guess, basically, right? Like different things um, will hit us and harm us. And other times we're doing good. We are more of the victors. So it's been good. Guys, what I want to talk about will be uh, from Revelation. In the first few chapters of Revelation, talking about the terminology to he who overcomes. We're going to uh, flesh out um, a majority of this video with that. And just doing a quick search um, on a dictionary regarding the word to overcome, to succeed in dealing with, parentheses, a problem or difficulty. Um, also for overcoming, uh, defeat an opponent or to prevail with overcome of an emotion to overpower or overwhelm. So in Revelation, when it talks about to the seven churches, to he who overcomes, so we're talking about overcoming. So there's a problem, there's a difficulty. And this is perfect in terms of what I've been going through the last few days, what many of you may be able to relate with as of late or in time past, or we know as followers of Jesus, if we're not going through something, you know, it's coming, right? We, uh, we are promised difficulty in this world. So we're going to talk about that. And before I get into that, um, I wanted to... So I wanted to speak about in Israel, southern Lebanon, Israel, uh, especially the IAF, the Israeli Air Force, is, is blasting uh, southern Lebanon, trying to push Hezbollah forces north to try to return residents to northern Israel. Um, they are blasting. Um, also just recently witnessed report a nuclear bomber B-2 Spirit was spotted near the city of Bandar Abbas in Hormuzgan province in Iran. So we got a bomber in Iran. Jesus, Matthew 24, wars and rumors of war. <clears throat> Hezbollah began its response by launching towards the lower Galilee and the area of Haifa. Um, so the, these missiles are hitting... <laughs> Uh, more into uh, into Israel. Jezreel Valley is under fire interceptions in multiple locations. Hezbollah also changed their flag color to red, which is, um, I should find that red for them, is raised instead of the yellow flag of the Lebanese Hezbollah. Uh, meaning of this is revenge and response. Okay, so they're, they're basically choosing war. Israeli media publishes this image in response to the raising of red flags and it's the star of david their flag all in red and black too wow this is massive nobody's backing down hezbollah is is taunting you know and uh, touting that we're coming we're, we're everything it doesn't matter how many you kill we're, we're in this fight 
and Israel saying tit for tat, us too, we're in it too. And, uh, you know, you can't but help kind of respect the leadership of Israel, right? If these kind of atrocities which happened October 7th, 2023 in America, <clears throat> kind of like what happened on 9-11, uh, your government of your country goes after the, the attackers. Um, and that's what Israel's doing, so you can kind of understand it. Okay. Um, so that stuff's popping off. They are massive. You guys can probably see video clips and, and headlines in uh, southern Lebanon of just explosions of weapon depots being hit, their rocket launchers and their missiles being destroyed. You see reverberation um, <clears throat> like um, just from the things being exploded, like just the, uh, the wake of it, the power of it. It's, uh, it's something, man. So Iran's proxies are about to ignite the Psalm 83 multi-front war the united nations summit of the future will be held on the 22nd 23rd of september this year coming up here soon the seven year anniversary of the revelation 12 sign also on the 23rd of this month seven years massive a whole chapter of revelation talking about in revelation 12 uh the sign of the uh the woman with child the child was caught up before the dragon could get it a picture of us being enraptured before the wrath begins. The star of Jacob is to appear on September 28th, 2024. Okay, a global economic Armageddon is on the cusp as America, which is the leading economy of the world, is on the verge of complete collapse. Yes, unfortunately. And we have Feast of Trumpets coming up October 2nd and 3rd. So we think of in uh, Zechariah 12, two to three around there, that uh, <clears throat> Jerusalem will become a cup of trembling, right? That's what we're seeing, right? With Bible prophecy, it's all about Israel. And, um, and this one talking about Jerusalem, but in Israel, like that is the, 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 the timepiece of all of this, right? The, the nations tremble because of what's going on in the Middle East. Everyone's concerned, everyone's invested. Everyone has something to say. All right, I think, yeah, that's that's the gist of what I wanted to speak about, about just the, the breaking stuff about the war with uh, with Hezbollah and Israel and um, all these prophetic pieces. And, and praise God that we know the scripture. Because if we didn't, just think, we would think about Israel in the midst of all these Muslim nations. And one might think Israel should be nuked and destroyed and gone because they're causing a lot of trouble. Um, <clears throat> and they're not Muslim and there's Muslims everywhere. Maybe one might think, yeah, destroy Israel. Let, let everything just be Muslim. Let the Muslims have their little neighborhood. But um, with Bible prophecy, we understand, of course, like, no way. Uh, Israel cannot be annihilated. Israel is God's chosen people. <clears throat> he has a plan for them. Indeed, the tribulation is for Israel. And why would, we wanna, why would one want to say such a thing anyways when there's a lot of radical Muslim infiltration into Europe, into America, everywhere? Um, why give them another inch, right? We don't want to do that. We know Ishmael and those of him will be a wild ass of a man, his hand against everyone, everyone's hand against him. Um, but my point is, with Bible prophecy and God's word and the Holy Spirit to help us discern, praise the Lord for that. We can understand, we can figure out the compass of true north. We can understand how to move and function in these last days. I tell you, it gives me a lot of peace, even when... I've had a week like I've had where I've just been getting pummeled and it's like, okay, I'm just taking it. I have to take it. Um, I can still be refreshed and I can still have um, just my faith uh, unshaking, right? My trust in God is, is, is strong. It's like, whatever. These things stink and Jesus promised there'll be trouble in this world. So when these things happen, par for the course, okay? I'm in war. I get it. It's okay. I, I don't hold anything against... Uh, the Lord. I'm not mad about anything. It's more like I just hate sin because <laughs> the wages of sin is death and all these things we go through. It's just because of sin. And um, praise the Lord. The Lord becomes more bright like the noonday sun. <laughs> when things are going good, thank you, Jesus. When things are rough, help me, Jesus. You can do it. I need you. So we can't lose. It's so great. <laughs> okay, guys, what I want to close uh, and wind down here in this video also is in uh, Revelations 2 and 3, Jesus addresses the seven different churches, right? 
and all red letters, Jesus talking. And it is wonderful. I was mentioning that language to he that overcomes. There are seven churches, seven times that statement is said. Um, in Revelation 2, 7, to him that overcomes. Uh, verse 11, he that overcomes, to a different church. Um, verse 17, to him that overcomes. Uh, verse 26, and he that overcomes. Jump into chapter 3. He that overcomes. Uh, verse 12 of chapter 3. He, him that overcomes. And lastly, verse 21, to him that overcometh. So again, talking about overcoming implies there's a challenge, that there's a problem, there's opposition. And uh, again, for me, Hence, you know, Holy Spirit kind of moved on me to speak about this because of, of the challenge of the week. So to, to overcome is the, the implying that, that there's the troubles and there's the problems and there's the challenges. So how wonderful that it is. The Lord talking to seven churches, uh, kind of like a prototype of any type of church we might identify with. Hopefully we're not the lukewarm one. Hopefully we're not the one tolerating Jezebel. Hopefully we're not the one that lost our first love. Hopefully we are. The one that is persecuted, like Smyrna, but the Lord doesn't have corrective language for us. Or we're like Philadelphia, where we have little strength, but the Lord opens the door for us. Regardless, however we identify, whatever body of believer, brethren, however we're moving in these last days, to him that overcomes, right? So that there, there's this caveat that there's challenge, that's a given for sure, we get it. But it's this, <clears throat> this uh, reality that you can overcome. And to he that overcomes different promises given to us. That's super encouraging. Um, that the Lord mentions this each and every time. He doesn't leave it. He doesn't just say it to like one church where we might think like, okay, but I'm not like that church. What about me? No, the Lord's got everything covered. And some of the promises to those who uh, overcome that Jesus is talking about here. Uh, verse 7 of, I'll just read some of these. Uh, to him that overcomes, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. So as we have the Holy Spirit, and as King Jesus will help us overcome, we get paradise. We're going to eat of the tree of life in paradise of God. Come on. Um, he that overcomes shall not be hurt of the second death, right? Uh, you get born twice, you die once. You uh, get born once, you die twice, right? Two deaths for those who are not born again. We are born again. Now, we're going to be the terminal generation. We won't even see death, but we, we um, so in this case, there's no death. We just, the flesh will change. You know what I mean? It's so great. Um, to him that overcomes, will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, save he that receiveth. The Lord was always changing names. Oh, you're Cephas, or you're um, Simon, now you're, you're Peter, you are rock. The Lord was always giving these nicknames because names uh, show nature. And the Lord is like, I'm doing a work on you. You are going to be different. You are no longer this. You are that. Um, you are no longer Jacob. You are Israel. You are no longer Abram. You are Abraham. You are no longer Sarai. You are Sarah. Uh, you are no longer Saul. You are Paul. Same for us. We're going to get a white stone that says this name. When we look at it, we're going to understand. We're going to be like, oh, yeah. Because when he appears, we will know as we are known. We're going to know perfectly. We see it, and we, we read that name, and we're going to get it. Like, let's say the name is whatever it is, and it means, like, eternal one. Um, you know, or just, just some kind of truth where we're like, yeah, that's right. Because in Christ, and now me glorified, I am that. It's going to make sense. Thank you, Jesus. And he that overcomes and keeps my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nations. There we go. Millennial kingdom promise right there. We can overcome. He will help us overcome. And when that happens, we're glorified. We're ruling and reigning for a thousand years and into eternity. These overcoming promises are massive, guys. They're no little thing. They're super powerful. And I hope you're feeling that. That these aren't just little things where it's like, yeah, that's cool. No, these should be like... This one thing is, is huge, and this is to all believers, however we're falling. But let's not be like the ones who the Lord is like, I have this against you. Jesus suffered too much for us, and he did too much for us. Let us be striving higher. Let us understand the bar is high. Let us not be like, I can't do it. Let us be like, I'm going for that. 
King Jesus didn't take the gall and the vinegar. He faced the suffering and the pain. He was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He didn't want it to happen, but he said, let's go. Uh, my accusers are here. He faced it. So he, he did so much. We can do more. Uh, and Jesus is worth it. Okay, another promise. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Oh my gosh, we're lucky to go to heaven. But the Lord is going to confess Jesus, his mouth to his soul, the Father on the throne, our name. He's going to confess us. You know, we'd almost think, like, no, Jesus, I shouldn't even be here. Like, I'm so unworthy. Don't even mention me. No. Jesus is like, you're pure. You're covered. I, I did this for you. He's going to confess. He's going to make this, like, announcement. He's like, Father, I want you to hear this. Host of heaven, I want you to hear Kevin and you, your name. Father, him, I confess him to you. Oh, my gosh. That's powerful. Him that overcomes will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. There's too much there to even try to get into all of it. But we're going to be a pillar of the temple of God. Pillars can't be moved. We're staying there. That's our home. The temple of God, New Jerusalem, glory. We're there. It's secure. Praise. Praise God. Praise God. Lastly, to him that overcomes, will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. <clears throat> so we're not sitting on a throne. We're sitting on my throne, Jesus' throne. Wow, can you imagine like a, like a president or like a powerful person saying, hey, sit here at my desk in the Oval Office or the White House or, you know, which is pretty disgusting place nowadays but like when it used to mean something if it ever did um you know or any prominent person or highly respected person hey come here check this out hey handle this thing that is mine it's like whoa i can't do that that's yours no it's okay uh, we get to sit with jesus in his throne jesus saying even as i also overcame right jesus took on flesh he gave us the example he overcame we can do all things through christ who strengthens us we can overcome too yes we can if you guys are struggling with something, the spiritual warfare, the, the, um, you know, just wicked people, you know, disrespecting you and putting more on your plate, whatever it might be, um, Jesus is familiar with all of our struggles and our challenges, and He overcame. We have the privilege of tapping into that. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the Godhead in us. We have His Word. We have the blueprint of life. Um, so Jesus said, I overcame. You can do it even as I overcame. Uh, and I'm set down with my Father in his throne. Wow, wow, wow. Again, we're not just getting to glory. We don't just have an entrance ticket. We're sitting on Jesus' throne with him. He's sharing this stuff. So to him that overcomes, I hope this speaks powerfully to you guys because if you guys are striving, if, if you care, if you love King Jesus like many of us do, and not everyone, some people don't care about these things, some people say we'll get raptured when we get raptured or maybe they don't think we get raptured. We're just going to die and then we'll see. Well, if you're like me and uh, you love these things, you're interested by these things, uh, you can relate with the attacks, the onslaught, the, the, the just the carnage of war, of spiritual warfare, of what we're going through. These things hurt. We're flesh until we're glorified. So we feel these things and we're weary. And sometimes you don't sleep good. That's another thing. There was like three nights out of four. I just wasn't sleeping good. Um, all these things, I pray this overcoming language really speaks to you, really resonates, really resounds that it is possible, it is available through Christ Jesus, uh, but it is an overcoming, it is implying the challenge and the warfare and the battle that it is. But this is why scripture is so massive to remind us of this. This stuff really jumped at me in, um, in regards to what I'm going through, so I pray it speaks to, to many of you. And again, if you're not there right now, you can relate to previous times and you can understand there may be more uh, challenges coming. Let this really excite you that you, uh, you can overcome. Jesus will help you overcome. And not only do you get through the difficult warfare situation, but on the other side of it is, is massive, 
massive, um, just kind of like this in, um, inverse proportion type of thing, you know, where it's like the struggle is strong and, and, and you know, difficult, but uh, you just flip it up high and it's like, but the reward is massive too. So it's worth it. Um, and Jesus is going to help us through all of it. His, his burden is light. His yoke is easy. So we trust on him. We, we release the reins of control. We say, all right, Lord, man, I need to do a whole lot of things with a whole lot of things that are challenging me, but I'm going to just trust on you. This is faith in action. I trust on you. I have faith, but I'm going to choose trust on you in this thing. Let's do it. Let's get our repetitions in. And this will build our uh, stamina and our strength in these last days. And perhaps people can witness our dealing with these struggles and these beatdowns and be like, I like how you handled that. That was tough. I see that it was hard for you, but you kept your cool. You didn't go off the handle. You didn't have a bad attitude towards that person who was making their problem your problem. You just did it. You hugged the cactus. You, uh, you faced the thing soberly like King Jesus did, who is our example. We can be, we can, our, uh, witness can be massive how we deal with these things that come at us that we'd rather they didn't guys that was on my spirit and i apologize for being gone a few days um i, I had nothing in me i was just uh hanging on by a thread as it were but i do appreciate you watching this video i pray it blessed you perhaps as as greatly as any video i've done ever has and that lord use it to stir something in you to encourage you to give you that second wind to keep running uh, strong in these last days. So, Jesus bless you guys. If this video blessed you, please hit the thumbs up on it. Subscribe to my channel and consider sharing this video. I love you guys. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Jesus bless you.